Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B does electronics. So in this video we'll be going a little bit different to make people aware out there about these fake uh, knockoff smartwatches from name brands like Casio and other companies. I've got a similar one here. I won't be giving any links in the description to where to buy and everything. This is just an awareness video and also an unboxing video too. Uh, in the same way, I've unboxed many other smartwatches in the past. Go check them out. I'll be leaving them in the description below, also in the iCards above. Uh, so without wasting any more time, uh, let's dive right into the unboxing and see, look around the box itself. We can see a uh, made up logo shock combat these are some of the features they are very quite common uh, with the other smartwatches that i've already unboxed like hd display health and heart rate and everything and as you can see from the back we'll be using the my two fit app from the play store and the app store and the made in china logo was given in big big font so as soon as we open the box we see a foam insert on the inside and we are greeted with the watch itself so let's now put it to the side for the moment and let's look inside but fair warning i've been using the watch for a few days now so the plastic coverings and everything are a little bit out of place but i won't recommend buying this watch it's just an awareness video for educational purposes and this is how the generic smartwatch name is written on the manual itself and you can pause to read over here and this is the another box for the charging cable and this has got a unique charging connector as you can see over here with the usb ending so let's now pack everything up as it was and look and dive into the watch itself in a little more detail and this is how the watch looks it has got that authentic casio rugged look from the g-shocks but this is in no way authentic and this is the charging connector i was talking about uh, these are some fake sensors or buttons design whatever you call there are three buttons all on this side we'll be going into much more details and as you can see it has got a raised bezel all around the display which hides the bezel itself also protects the display of the watch and it has got this thick uh, G-Shock rugged type band which is very hard and not at all soft. Uh, it digs into your hand quite a bit and as you saw it is interchangeable but I don't know what you will change the watch band with. And we have got a fake 20 bar pressure logo written over here and we have got the dual buckle design. All well and good but all of these are fake I want to reiterate it again and again and on the back side we can see all plastic with the HR and SPO2 sensors so let's now turn it on and uh, I will show you where the funny thing begins as you can see we are greeted with the Casio G-Shock startup logo well I want to throw a disclaimer out there in this video I'm not endorsing buying such fake products please don't do those please don't get duped by the fake sellers out there be aware and the first thing that you see while checking out are the logos itself the G-Shock logo is shifted a little bit towards the left and there is no such branding called shock combat in any Casio G-Shock branding and there are no barcodes no official writing and everything over the box and made in China is also written over there these are some of the few pointers that you can see before buying such products from online or various other sources. So people be safe, be aware. So now let's uh, dive a little bit into detail in the default watch faces. As you can see, this is the third watch face with the G-Shock Casio branding thrown here and there. All are really high quality in the display also though an IPS LCD not an AMOLED looks quite good and as you can see uh, we are back to the default watch face so there are seven total default watch faces that you can store and the best part is it has got 2GB internal memory so 
So now let's look into the user interface. From the top, we get the notification tray. And as you can see, all my apps notification are being fetched into the watch itself. Quite common, but it is from the top. From the bottom, we get all the shortcut menus like battery saver, do not disturb, lock the watch, brightness. And as you can see, the watch brightness is quite high. So that's good. Calendar, Bluetooth calling, QR, adjusting the volume of the watch. And this is how you do it. We can put it to silent mode and everything. And this is the settings. We will dive into that later on. From the right hand side, we go into the various cards like HR, SPO2. And this is a quick test of the HR. As you can see, it's working. And this is a quick test of the SPO2 sensor. And both of them are working perfectly, no issues. We have also got the sleep monitoring. Who will wear this watch for the sleep monitoring? I don't know. Weather. And this is the amazing feature of this watch as it has got 2GB internal memory. It has got its own inbuilt music player. Can you imagine that? So you can play the music from the watch itself from its internal memory without pairing it with any smartphone. And the best part is you can pair any any bluetooth speaker bluetooth earphone tws with the watch itself and listen to the music on the watch isn't that great okay and from the left hand side if we swipe we get this cards type menu from the ios options uh, which basically throws you back into the various other shortcuts like hr calendar which we already saw but it's there it's been thrown in so that is all about the ui of the watch itself we will dive a little bit deeper later on so now let's talk about the three buttons that we already saw the top one is used to turn on and off the display as well as turn on and off the smartwatch the bottom one denoted as app is a smart button or customizable button which can be used to sell, quick launch any of the inbuilt apps and the middle one will bring you back to the menu menu system as you can see very iOS type very common in nowadays uh, very smooth actually as you saw from the scrolling also now let's quickly launch some of the apps the first one is an inbuilt voice recorder which is quite excellent it stores in its internal memory and you can offload those using Bluetooth to the app Second is language and many of these are the default settings and options thrown as icons. Uh, here you can see the various activity section and this is another section. The activity has been split into two icons. This is the Bluetooth uh, picture taking button thing. Very common. This is the various information about the watch. This is how you can lock the watch by giving passcode screen on and off time. Uh, stopwatch, full-fledged calendar, uh, calculator, calendar is also there of course. Uh, these are the three menu systems, we'll be diving into them later on. This is how you can invoke Google Assistant to Siri uh, with the paired smartphone. And this is some breathing function, very common. And this is the music player that we already saw and notifications. And this is the settings menu let's go into that the first one is the music switch that is the sound will come out of the smartphone or the smartwatch you can switch it from here bedside lamp mode is that ios feature where you plug in the charger and it will give you an always on watch always on function is also there even though it is not an amoled screen the screens timing uh, sound setting we already saw all of these do not disturb language key definition is the one that i was talking for the customizable button so let's put it to compass and yes it has got a compass in it but i don't know how well it works you can see it's quite laggy but it seems to work so i guess it works uh, vibration sos setting about shutdown reset these are all very common so now let's quickly focus on the always on feature of this smartwatch which is a bit advanced than the other smartwatches from other brands. So as you saw this is the digital always on which mimics the digital watch face. So if you put an analog watch face it will automatically shift to the analog always on display. As you can see right over here. 
So this happens automatically without you needing to change it in the settings, which is actually excellent. So in this smartwatch, we have got three menu styles. This is the first one. As you can see, the animations are quite smooth, which is quite evident throughout the watch, even though this is not a high end or pricey one. This is the one that we already saw, the iOS type. This is the second one. And this is the last one, which is uh, just swiping like that. So there are three menu styles, as you can see. So now let's focus on the highlight feature of this smartwatch is the inbuilt music player with two gigs of internal memory. So this is how it looks and we can change the music mode, the background the images and everything to jazz it up. And you can actually store mp3s on the watch like I'm showing over here. Here are some of the default music list which is present on the watch when you buy. And you can also pair it up with Bluetooth speakers and TWS earphones, headphones, whatever you want without ever needing your smartphone. Just for the demo, I brought out a Bluetooth speaker and as you can see, it has found it and it is pairing with the watch, with not with the smartphone, but with the smartwatch. And as you can see, it has connected and now we can play whatever music is on there on the watch itself, which you can hear right now. Not a good recording but it serves for the demo's purpose. Now let's quickly go over the charging and the bedside lamp mode feature of this smartwatch. The charging connector is magnetic and it snaps onto the smartwatch just like that. And as you can see the bedside lamp mode feature is on which works in this portrait mode as well as in the landscape mode just like in iOS. But fair warning, the watch will get hot because this is not an AMOLED display. Now if you want more functionality out of this smartwatch, you have to pair it up with the app My2Fit which is present in both Play Store as well as in iOS App Store. Now let's quickly pair it up and as you can see it has found it, G-Shock. It has found the watch and it is pairing right now. So pairing was successful as you can see it is connected. Now let's give an overview of the app itself. So first comes this dashboard section where you can see the heart rate, how much you have run, the calories, all the good stuff. Here you can see a GPS map feature and this is the settings page of the watch. Uh, there are various functions over here like find my watch, DIY watch face, watch faces and notification access as you can see you have to turn on all the features over here so then comes adding the contacts setting up alarm and weather feature and the bluetooth camera shutter button feature this is how you can retrieve the voice recording from the watch itself as you can see i've done one uh, you will also need the app this music management feature to add the music from your smartphone's memory into the smartwatch's memory over Bluetooth. Fair warning, it takes a huge amount of time like those old Bluetooth connections that we used to have. Next there is also this DIY logo feature which I will show right now. That is you can change the animation or the image that happens when you turn on and off the smartwatch. Uh, so I will just demo it right now. I have just taken a picture of a flower from my garden and it will be throwing it up into the smartwatches on and off logo as you will see right here and there you go you can also revert it back into the default g-shock casio logo turn on and off display but this is a neat feature which i've never seen in any other smartwatches so i just revert it back to the default one and as you can see we are back so this is a neat feature uh, you can throw up all kinds of images and animation according to your choice so now let's focus on some of the watch faces or the huge amount or catalog of watch faces present on the app which you can sync to the watch itself so it's syncing right now and i want to give a shameless plug to my own videos that i've done on the beat xp evoke boat lunar orb which i'll be linking in the icard as well as in the description below 
so as you can see the watch face has synced up and it was quite high quality as you saw so let's go for a white one so that we i can show that there are no bezels or at least the bezels are hidden behind that rugged casing So as you can see it has synced up and the animations are quite smooth this is an animated watch face also So there is an endless collection of watch faces from the app itself which you can sync to the smart watch and these are all the watch faces that are stored locally on the 2 gig internal memory of the smart watch and this is the community feature where you can make your own DIY watch face and upload them for other users also using the DIY make a dial option but you need to sign in so this is where i will give you the fair warning that this is a chinese device the app is also chinese and i presume the servers are also chinese so i won't recommend you to sign in but even if you do because of the awesome feature that is that community dial service uh, just go with some other email which is not your primary one uh, so that you can actually try out the feature so be safe out there so that was all about this fake Casio G-Shock smartwatch look-alike thing. Uh, this was an educational video by all means and purposes. But there are other smartwatch unboxing videos just like these. Boat smartwatch is an old goat smartwatch. Boat lunar orb that I'll be linking in the iCard and the description below, which you can actually buy and are from reputed brands. Uh, so go check them out. Show some love. Subscribe, like, and share also and i urge you to be safe out there be alert be vigil so i will catch you guys in the next video peace